Hi, I'm Zachary Crawford here today with Complete Human Performance to show you how to do an inclined dumbbell bench press. Now, when doing an inclined dumbbell bench press, I personally like two or three pins up on most benches for dumbbells, uh, for uh, dumbbell benches. And also, I personally like it up one on the lower part if I'm allowed to do it or that bench lets me. It's going to vary by person what your preference is, so you should do what feels best for you. Now, once we actually get on the bench, we're gonna to try to fully retract our shoulder blades and get into a nice tight position and leverage our feet with leg drive and get ourselves so we're nice plied. If you arch, you wanna get that arch in there. If you don't arch, then keep yourself flat, but required that you get your leg drive involved. Uh, whenever going into any type of bench, if you're using heavier weights, I'm only doing 45 to demonstrate this so my form looks nice, but you're gonna take the weights, stand up, Put them on top of the quads, retract your shoulder blades before you even go back, and then I like to use my legs to kick me up. Get a nice leverage position, get nice and tight. What I've been doing for incline lately is I start with a neutral grip, and as I go up, I rotate out. So, up, up. Just like any other type of bench exercise, you want to make sure that you don't overpress. So you just want to go up until your elbows lock. Anything extra is just unretracting your shoulder blades, which will look like this. And that's just going to put your back in an awful position and increase the chance of you injuring your shoulders. And that's basically all there is to it for doing an incline dumbbell bench press.